And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and sorry about the lack of light. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, so we're starting this morning, and we are going to... Is it morning? Yeah. Well, I dinged, and we'll get to that in a minute or two. But I think it's almost morning, actually. Let me check here. Yeah, 3.07 in the morning. Okay, great. And it's actually... Uh, the sun's come out outside my window. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hoorah. So, yes, I'm no longer in the dark in real life now. All right, so we're going to tame this book. How big are you? What's your size? Level 12. Ooh, shiny. So let's get in a position where he's probably going to get stuck. And... One thing you want to worry about, by the way, is if there are any other trikes nearby, they will come to this guy's aid. Now, because we got him stuck, I don't need to worry about him. Um, as long as none of his buddies show up, which I don't think they will... I didn't see any buddies of his nearby. So we're just going to keep wailing on him with this thing. You can see I actually collected a fair amount of stone here. And he'll go down if I shell. Excuse me. There we go. And she's down. Awesome. Okay, let's go in our inventory. First, we want to put in our some narcotics, and then I think all my berries are on my dino over here. So let's go running over there and let's get the crud off our carbonimus. Carbonimus, there we go. And uh, best bet here, come on, is going to be enable following. There we go, following me. Awesome. So let's bring him back. Come on, buddy, let's go. We got a trike to tame. See what I mean by slow, by the by? And I'm sorry it's so dark. Let me get my... I'm harvesting stuff now so I can at least have this out. Oh, we just hit F to go straight to their inventory. Alright, so we'll take the measure berries. Measure berries, measure berries. Access you, and we'll take the measure berries. There we go. And we're just going to start doing this now. We're just going to gather up berries. Gather up those berries, guys. Um, the trikes aren't that picky. They'll eat measure berries. There's one other berry they also like. Um, but I just use measure berries because, honestly... Measure berries are pretty much your your stock and trade. Um, and now all we need to do is just keep that torpor up. So what we're going to do is when we get back to that thing. Come on. Just keep harvesting those berries, guys. Yep, this is basically just taming. This is how it works. We're going to come back to this guy. And, alright, so this is like 40, I think, so let's, uh... So you click on the narcotic, and then click remote use item. And the reason we're doing that with the narcotics is because... The narcotics... Okay, so see this training efficiency, taming effectiveness? For 96.8 plus 5 level. So what you want to do is you want to keep that taming effectiveness as high as you can. As long as you can. And the best way to do that, honestly, is just to keep your, your critter basically happy. Not happy. Happy isn't the right word. You want to make sure that your your creature, whatever your creature is, um, stays at kind of a decently high taming efficiency. And the best way to do that is to give it food it likes. So measure berries. And then after you give it food it likes, your next best bet is to use narcotics instead of using something like, say, uh, the straight narco berries. Okay? And the reason you don't want to use the narco berries is because the narco berries actually decrease your taming efficiency as time goes forward. So you want to kind of make sure that you're staying, you know, you keep everything kind of decent here. Uh, so what? Else? Let's see. We we dinged, by the way. We dinged. Oh, that's not what I wanted. We wanted that button. So engram points at forty-two to apply. Yeah. All right, so the first thing we want is we want the bow and we want the arrows, okay? Large stone box would be useful. 
Um, that would definitely be useful. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to get... Do I want to start farming? That's the question. I definitely want the compass. And I definitely want the spyglass. Okay. So I definitely wanted those two. Um, and the standing torch might be useful, but so would be having the stone wall. That would also be pretty darn useful too. And the wooden ladder or the wooden ramp. Either one of those. Hmm. Let's go with the wooden ramp. And you know what? What the hell? Let's do the stone wall. Okay. That's pretty good. And then... Let's do the intake pipe and the stone irrigation pipe. Alright. We'll have to wait for another level before we can actually do anything with irrigation. But this should be pretty useful for right now. So let's see what we need to do to make the stone walls. Apparently I'm just in this perpetual upgrading of my house... I need more stone. Alright, well that doesn't surprise me in the least. Now the nice thing is, remember, just press 6 to see what you need to get. So we need more thatch and more stone. Well, that's pretty easy to get. See? And don't forget while you're doing this to keep on coming back here and checking up on this guy. Yo, game. Stop that. So we just keep checking up on him. You get about 40 per click. Okay. So that's going. That's nice. Taming's going on. Uh, we still need to remember to keep getting measure berries, though, because that's pretty important to us. All right. Okay, so now we just need actual stones. Which isn't bad. We got some boulders over here. I'm hot. Why, thank you, game. I like to hear that. Okay, that was really terrible of me. <laughs> that was really terrible of me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's early in the morning. I've slept two hours over the past 48, 24 hours. Okay? I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Take pity on me, please. Don't unsubscribe. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, okay. I love how the rocks just go like flipping flying. It's like, nah, gravity. Nah, not so much. Oh, hey, I got metal off that. That's nice. There we go. Mm, after one one more rock and we'll go back and check up on that guy. It's nice that I'm getting all this metal now because... Oops, that broke. It's nice we're getting all this metal now because... Metal is honestly one of those things where it's like, you really usually have to work for it. We're just getting lucky and we're collecting a fair amount of it early on. Um, which will save our butts when we actually get to the point where we want to use it to make tools. Because the thing with metal tools are that you get a lot more of your, like, the random materials from metal tools than you do from... You get a lot more metal out of metal-bearing rocks from metal tools than you do from stone tools. So you want to get your first set of metal tools as soon as you can to start getting... Yeah, you guys get where I'm going with this. Yo. Give me your inventory. How you doing? Now well, you're going. Slowly but surely, you're moving. You'll get there eventually. There we go. How do I do this without hitting this guy? There we go. With some more stone. Technically, I should be just taking this with my pick, but... I want the stone more than I want the metal at this point. So yeah, as I was saying, um, getting a metal is hard until you have a metal pick. So if you can get your metal pick early, or you can get enough metal for it just as you're progressing through the beginning of the game when you're not really using metal up. Uh, 
I think your feet have to be in the water for that to work. So if you can get a lot of metal early, um, more stone, before you actually get to the place where you need the metal, then that's really, really helpful. And you should try and do that and take advantage of that. And at this point in the game, it's really just a side benefit. You know, we're just kind of getting that metal because it's already in the stone that we already want to harvest. And we're just picking it up as we go. Now, what I get at level 20 is pretty cool. What I'm going to be getting are uh, narcotic arrows. So we can take our bow and the arrows that we're getting from our bow. Good lord, these give you so much stone compared to the big ones. There we go. They really do. They give you a huge amount of stone. Oh, more measure berries. All right. Well, we can make another, another wall here. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? I'm going to give you some more measure berries. There you go. Have fun. All right, so I need everything now. Okay. Well, that works. And it's cold. I am cold. Which is making my food degrade faster, by the way. Um, so the, the cold effect makes you actually go through food faster, which is fairly true to life. Um, you actually do, your body metabolism likes to try and speed up whenever it's cold out. So, okay, so now you need thatch and stone. Okay. Your body metabolism does actually speed up um, when it's colder out, so you burn more calories because your body's trying to generate more heat. Now, there's an upper limit on how much your body's going to do that, but it is true that you do burn more fuel when it's cold out. Speaking of fuel, I'm going to need to get some more... I'm going to need to get some more stuff, some more food. I don't know what broke apart there, but it certainly sounded impressive. Oh, I should be putting my berries on this guy. Hold on. Yo. Have some berries. Mostly because you'll eat them anyways. Uh, the metal can stay on me. I have some spoiled meat in my inventory. Let's move that over. So it spoils more slowly. Not quite enough, apparently. That's fine. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, no, I don't know why I'm already upgrading to stone. I guess it's because it gives me something to do. Uh, I do know, by the way, that I'm going to run into a problem when I get to higher levels. Um, in that I won't have enough points to actually, um, I won't have enough, uh, Engram points, even at max level, to actually... Uh, unlock everything I want to. I understand that. I know that that's an issue. Yeah, and now I'm hungry. Great. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Let's just eat some berries. Um, a marberry sound tasty enough for the day. Yeah, so I, I know that that's an issue. Um, let's just spam eat these. How about that? Boost my water, too, so they're actually not too terrible to eat. Let's eat like 50 of them. How about that? They probably give, like, one per, so that's probably pretty decent. Yeah, not so much. Okay, so... Do you have raw meat on you? You do. That you do. How much do you have? Seven minutes worth? Okay. Well, let's go... do 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 do, -do. Craft us helps a campfire... You know, this game, I think, does actually model seasons. Um, I wish it gave you a good indication. Here, let's put that here so you can share in that warmth, too. And let's put the... Let's cut the wood in half. Let's cut it in half again. Let's do that. And we'll do this. And we'll do that. We'll light the fire. And we'll just gather up some more materials while that's cooking up. Yeah. So, as I was saying... Um, I do think the game models seasons, by the way. And I do think I'm in, like, a winter season now. 
At least that's what I think is going on here. Um... Either that, or it's just random based on the day. But I don't feel like it's just random, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's just ran completely random. Um, because that would feel kind of weird, right? It's like one day I'm roasting and then the next day I'm freezing. What's going on? You know. So I think it's actually the seasons. Um, at least I hope it does. I'd like to think it does, and it's not random. Because that. That would be... Now I'm hot. How the hell am I... I really don't want to hit you by accident there, buddy. Thank you. Oh, son of a... Huh? What hit me? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. It's raining. How am I hot? Okay? It's like natural sweat going on. Alright, whatever. That's neither here nor there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain even why I'm upgrading my... I'm going for this uh, stone already. I think, well, I know part of the reason is because dino attacks, right? The dinos have a lot of trouble damaging stone. I actually don't even know if they're able to. If I was on a PvP server, it would be even more important because you can't damage... I think you can't damage wood or above without metal tools, I think. I think that's what it is. And we're keeping this guy nice and warm. He probably is kind of happy about that. Alright. One, two, three, four. Got any more measure berries to give you? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's harvest some more berries. Ooh, narco berry seeds. Yay! We should actually really get into farming soon. Um, that's kind of what I was aiming for with those items, but we'll get there eventually, don't worry. I just didn't. Yeah, whatever. I kind of had like a meh moment today. Um, not a meh moment, just kind of a meh. I still have some meat on me. I don't really want to go hunting yet, you know. Nah, whatever. It's fine, whatever. How are you doing over here? Alright, so we need thatch. Thatch is cool. Oh, we broke that. Uh, I need thatch for that too. Okay, well, I guess we're getting thatch then, guys. Um... Yeah, watch me deforesting half the island right now, huh? The downside to not playing on a server is things don't spawn back as quickly. Uh, upside to playing on a server is I don't have nearly the amount of bugs that everyone else has to deal with on a daily basis. How are we doing with this? You know, everything got so much easier when I actually discovered that I can just do that. Just press and hold on the crafting thing to see how many items I have remaining to, drag to gather of that. It's so nice. So nice. Yeah, so the problem is I'm nicely not committed to taming that darn thing. Um, I don't have much choice, basically. I, I have to stick around because I believe that if I exit the game, then the taming stops. I, I'm pretty certain that that's what happens. Uh, which is going to be a pain in the neck later on. Um, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I'm like, if I ever try and tame like a Bronto or a Rex, then I'm going to be sitting here for hours. And I'm sorry, but I just don't have hours to sit around and play this game. I got other games I need to play. I have to record. After we're done here, I have to record Seven Days to Die. I have to record Industrial Rotation. I mean, I have a bunch of crap I need to record this morning. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm actually not too unhappy that I ended up pulling an almost all-nighter. Because I'm like, yeah, I know it's irritating, but on the other hand, it's coming in kind of handy right now. How are you doing? Uh, let's give you some more narcotic. You're pretty good on the measure berries, though, by the looks of things. Here, let's give you some more. There you go, buddy. You're going to be nice and well-fed. Don't worry about it. Oh, you extinguished. Okay, what do we have here? We have some cooked meat for ourselves, so let's eat. Nom, 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 cooked meat, nom. 
All right, and let's come over here, and we can put down some of these stone walls now, huh? Yay! Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to replace... Yeah, I'm going to replace the... Um, I'm going to replace the wood. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all my... my... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing all of the wood with stone. And then I'm going to start replacing the thatch with wood. Alright? Or at least the, the wooden walls. The thatch walls with wood. And the reason I'm doing that is because... Um... The... Alright, let's do that. And let's go craftables. Wooden wall. And craftable... Stone wall. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because... The... You get an insulation bonus to your character. Let me show you this, alright? The way the game determines if you're in or outside is by what type of roof is above your head. So with a wooden roof above my head, I want you to look at this, alright? My I have a 7-2, alright? 7 and 2 with the wood above my head. Oh, there we go. 116 and 60, okay? Now when I walk into here, which is thatch, it should be different. Should be. I thought it was different under thatch. Huh. I thought it was different. Yo, game. Stop doing that. Yeah, I thought that was different. Okay. Apparently it isn't. Apparently it's the same type of roofing. So I'm just going to leave the thatch over here then because I don't care. It's thatch. Whatever. You know? I'm just going to replace the stone because I like to look the stone better. Oh, you shouldn't be lit. So I believe that those standing torches use up fuel less quickly than the... How many more stone walls do I need anyways? I believe they use up fuel less quickly, so that's good to know. Um, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more stone walls. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm fairly certain that they use up uh, fuel less quickly than other than, than, than a full campfire would. But, of course, they can't cook items. But they can also burn thatch, and thatch is wicked useful just to be able to burn it off and not worry about it. Remote use. There you go, buddy. Stay nice and knocked out, will ya? Um, I'm kind of mean, I know. Anyways, so the nice thing about the standing torches is they also provide a little bit of heat. They keep you nice and, you know, if not warm, then not horribly overheated. You know, so it's they're, they're pretty nice to have. Nice things to have laying around. Nice things to have, you know, as you're working. Um... And the stone walls, as I was saying, they basically, I, I'm pretty certain dinosaurs can't destroy them. I'm pretty certain, okay, I'm pretty certain most dinosaurs can't destroy them. Um, and a player would have a really hard time destroying them as well. So that's part of the reason why I'm sticking with the, I'm upgrading the stone walls. I am not going to go for metal. I'm just not going to even go there. Um, there's no point in going to metal for me. I'm not on a PvP server. I don't honestly care. Um, what else do I also need? I need everything now. Okay, I need thatch, wood, that, and stone. Okay. Uh, there's just no reason for me to go there because it's not. There's no. Re I don't need the defensiveness, right? I'm not being attacked. This isn't, you know, seven days to die. I don't have a horde coming in on my head. So we're just gonna let it go. First person to start singing that song gets smacked by Stone Axe, by the way. So, yes, as I was saying. The, um... Mm, I had a word. I had a word I was going to use. Something, something, something. Something, something dark side. Uh, anyways. So, yes. Uh, I'm not going to go for metal, honestly. Metal... One, do you have any concept of how long it would take me to get enough metal to actually make metal, a metal house? It would be stupid. It would be ridiculous. I'd be doing it for days. I'd be playing, like, for a month off camera just to get that much metal. All right? I have no interest whatsoever in doing that. 
you guys might. You guys may have an infinite amount of time to play. I, however, cannot concentrate exclusively on one game for any more than, you know, maybe an hour or two, because otherwise I run out of other things recorded, and you guys get pissed at me because you're like, yo, Cass, why haven't you actually, you know, uploaded Seven Days to Die, or Industrial Rotation, or another game, or why haven't you worked on World of Warships, it's been a month and a half. It's like, okay, guys, you know. So, yes, I understand some of you really want to see ARC, more ARC, but I have to keep to my rotation. All right, anyways, guys, so it's looking like uh, we're coming up to the end of this episode. I'm going to finish taming this trike off camera. Um, I've kind of put myself in a bind now because I I have to finish that before I log off, and it looks like it's going to take a little while, so that's fun. Um, yay! I wish I had someone else playing so I could actually, you know, be like, okay, well, you do this. I'm going to go take a shower and get ready for work. And that means I can, you know, shift things around. Because that's usually what I do if, like, something's trying to process in Minecraft or something like that. Is I go and I take a shower and, you know, let that process and run and then finish the episode. But I can't do that because I need to keep making sure that this trike doesn't wake up. And that he's fed enough berries because he's a hungry, hungry hippo. <sighs> Anyways, guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I actually enjoyed recording it, even though I'm kind of derping around a little bit um so yeah if you enjoyed the episode give me a like or a comment or subscribe to my channel if you didn't like it tell me what you want me to fix tell me what i could do better tell me how you think i could improve my channel because you know what i'm doing this for you guys and if you guys aren't having fun and enjoying my content then i'm not enjoying my content all right all right let me know give me some feedback yay or nay anyways guys this has been mr kasarian thank you so much for watching and as always happy hunting